Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Critical Reactions with your host, Brian. Today we're going to check out the most requested band ever on this channel. It is Think You Scientists. I tried to get as many requests on this page as I could. We have The Heat 306, uh, Swing on the Spiral, Madman's Den, Ray Shianello, Shianello. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Tim Murray, uh, The Who Rocks 515, Bradleyon, Bradleyon. Sorry about that pronunciation. And Matthias. Uh, all of them request and thank you, scientist. There really is, isn't one consensus, but Ray came in first with Caverns. Uh, there were quite a few other tracks that were requested, but first come, first serve today since there isn't any uh you know consensus any majority vote across all of the comments that was only half of them i think should i do multi-page comments because some of these i think uh scientists had 12 or 13 and uh i could have done two pages there maybe i will i don't know we'll see usually they fit on one page though so i didn't even think to do that until just now Anyways, let's get into this. Thank you, scientists. Caverns from their album, latest album, Stranger Heads Prevail. Maybe that's not their latest album. That's just what the description says from when the video came out. All right, let's go. Can't real animals as leaders vibe already. Shift. Ooh, is that a trumpet? Yeah. Rock singing going on. Really good syncopation on the guitar work right here. I wonder how the singing is going to be when they get back to their crazy prog stuff, though. I don't think this light poppy singing would fit with that. Yeah! I have noticed though that while they're singing, it's more straight music. Uh, I wonder if there is going to be prog music behind the singing. Well, not prog, prog ideas. Ooh! All those little brass stings with the cymbals uh, syncopating with them. Delicious. school there.
really love the way that the trumpets, uh, their tone is really mixing with the guitar tone. Is there a falsetto voice hanging over all that? Alright. I really like this guitar tone right here. I kind of wish it was used a little more often. I think their uh, less overdriven one kind of lacks a lot of the width, but I understand it's making room for the rest of the band, so. Really great synergy between the vocal lines and the trumpet lines. Whole band run. Yeah, good stuff. I like how the rest of the band set up this section a bar early. I'm gonna say I wasn't a big fan of the solo. It's so crazy how many different ideas are going on in this song. Yeah, that, that ending was clean. Alright, so... Thank you to everybody and I apologize for not getting to them sooner. That was amazing. Um, the weird thing is, on a musical level, I loved every bit of it. The proggy areas were just... It was, it, was a, it was a snack. It was dessert. It was like what my brain wants to listen to uh, when it comes to interesting music. It is technical but not overly technical to the point where it loses the musicality aspect and it was just really smartly done it was it showed off what they could do while providing enough restraint that it doesn't lose its core ideas uh on the musicianship level a lot of the stuff just there's a lot of counting there's a lot of uh team synergy that has to go on so that everybody's i mean some of these things they got uh, you know, three and four part stings and stingers are not easy to do with what I'm going to assume. There's no conductor. Everybody's listening to uh, a drummer just to kind of uh, get the feel for the song. And you don't really need conductors for smaller groups. I don't know how many people are in this group, but I would wager six, seven, eight, maybe. Um, they could pull it off without a conductor, but those stingers would be easier with one, and I'm going to assume they don't have a conductor because they're, for more or less, they're a rock band. Um, so some of those some of those stings are just uh, the fact that they nail it, three and four people, 
Uh, that's just phenomenal. Uh, the full band run, there were two of them, I think, where almost everybody was doing these 16th note runs. I mean, that's just, if one person flubs it a little bit, uh, there isn't, they, they're they not as clean with their attacks and releases. I mean, the whole thing just sounds muddy. And, you know, obviously this is a studio version. This is the best version of it. But I'm going to assume, have good faith, that they perform this live at the same level. And, I mean, just on a musicianship level, this is some fantastic work. Um, the weird thing is, though, as much as I appreciate everything that goes into this, I'm not sitting here thinking I need to listen to this again. And I don't know why. I, you know, normally I have too many words. I, I'm sure my videos go on far longer than they ever should. But I, like I said, this has everything I want in a song, but it's missing something that's really hooking me in, and I, I'm not really sure what that is. And that sucks. I don't know. As far as I can see, it has everything I want in it. Uh, you know, I did mention that the guitar tone, I think the the primary guitar tone is a little weak. Um, I kind of wish that was beefed up a little bit, but I, I also understand that there's a lot of instruments going on and making it a little wider might not give enough space to the rest of the group. Um, I think it would also cause the guitar to dominate the soundscape a little bit. Um, so maybe a beefier tone wouldn't necessarily be what's necessary, but I'm I'm just not keen on the guitar tone. I think it's a little flat. Um, I don't know if that's what's doing it. Uh, the solo I was not sold on at all. Uh, I I don't feel like there was a story going on in the solo. I don't feel like there's a lot of melodic ideas. It was, for the most part, very static, rhythmic ideas. Uh, going on, and he was m more or less just kind of moving up and down the guitar on eighth and sixteenth notes. It, it, I don't know. It wasn't interesting. It, it was an interesting. Well, it was a showcase of what he could do. He played a little faster than he did in the rest of the song. Uh, there were some interesting little um, tidbits, you know, like like what he did on a beat. Uh, but for the most part, the solo itself didn't do anything the underlying music was actually more interesting to me at least on a rhythmic idea um i don't know it's just if it, it's weird because the rest of the song has really good musical ideas and phrasing they it does a real good job of telling stories and making sure that the musical idea isn't lost in the complexity and i feel like the Solo was all complexity, nothing melodic. And I feel like some of the ideas were lost. They were overshadowed by the fact that he just wanted to show off a little bit. And that's fine. It just, it doesn't do it for me. I, I need that balance. If you're going to be the primary voice, you need to tell the story. And I just don't feel like that was told in the guitar solo. Um... But this is just one song. I mean, for all I know, he does a great job at phrasing in every other song he's played, and he just wanted to, you know, go to town on this one. Uh, I'm I'm not faulting the band for that, just pointing out something for this specific song. Um, but yeah, everything else about the track is just... I really don't have anything bad to say about it. I love... The brass and rock instrument combination, as you can tell from two days ago with the brass against stuff, um, which is actually really interesting that uh, I'm doing this this week because we just did brass against on Monday. I think that's a, an interesting coincidence. We haven't really done uh, bands with, I mean, we did Iosoa Kane, Iosanoa Kane uh, last week, but that wasn't really rock or metal that's more poppy um but yeah we don't really hear much brass on this channel and now we've heard it twice in a week 
uh, with very similar styles, you know, mixing heavy rock with brass. So um, that's cool. I mean, if you guys got more of that, we need to do it because uh, as a brass player, I'm kind of biased towards them. They're kind of the best instrument type. Um, back to this track, though. Thank you, scientist. Um, the I, the rhythmic ideas, though. I, I like I said at the beginning, it's a perfect balance between being technical, showing off that big brain they got when they're writing this stuff, and uh, you know, being melodic and keeping with musical ideas and keeping the core thoughts and framing there, they really found that pocket where it's complex. You really got to pay attention to figure out what's going on, but it's not losing any of the musicality. And that's a really, really fine line to walk. It's, it's a hard line to find to begin with, and then you got to walk it for an entire song. And uh, it's not an easy task to do, but I think they really nailed it here. I am interested if they have other tracks, though, where the singer comes in and they don't revert to straight music. Um, I noticed that almost every time there was a singer, uh, the music went to traditional rock. You know, they had the instrument, the, the other instruments in there to make it. Uh, less normal, less less usual, but the rhythmic patterns and ideas were a lot simpler when the singer came in. I don't know, again, if that's typical for them or if that's just something that happened in this song, but the band does jump between being or having proggy ideas and having normal standard ideas, and uh, the standard ideas tend to come up in the singers there. And I think it creates this dichotomy. I didn't really see that it was uh, part of the framing. I just felt like it was a handicap for the singing. I don't know. Uh, it just, that part didn't sit with me. I wish that they had stuck with the, the unusual rhythmic ideas throughout the song. But, I don't know. Like I said, overall, I'm impressed. The song is real good, and everything about it says it should be up my alley, but I'm not, I don't really have that craving to listen to it again. I don't think it's going to get stuck in my head for a couple of days like some of these songs you guys have requested. Um, but I really can't put into words why it just isn't hooking me the way that I think it should. Uh, I'm going to give it a couple more listens, listens, listens to and uh, see if either it gets me or if I understand what's missing. I don't know. Um, I don't know. It's just kind of weird. You guys are completely right with your request. This is right up my alley. Uh, I really thank you for the request. I look forward to doing other Thank You Scientist songs. Um, I just, I don't know. It's kind of a weird thing. So let me know in the comments what you guys thought. If you haven't heard of Thank You Scientists before, what would you think of them? If you have, let me know how my opinion's wrong. Or, you know, let me know how you kind of agree. That, I mean, discourse, you know? Open up a conversation. We'll, we'll, we'll chat in the comments. I like to do that. Uh, you know, while you're down there, make sure you like, subscribe, ring the bell. And I'll be back tomorrow morning, 11 a.m., as usual. Y'all stay safe and have a fantastic day.